Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen Seidel, Jen the Body Painter. As you see, I'm playing with my kitties because this video is dedicated to my cats. Those of you who watched some of my videos in the past, you'll know that I got two kittens, a brother and a sister, Nola and Ren, and that was about a year ago. And we recently got another addition to our little cat family. Her name is Aria. Dakota and I found her in a parking lot one night after we finished dinner. It was our anniversary and we hadn't been out in a while. And when we got out to the parking lot, this cat was crying and I picked her up and Dakota's like, are you sure you want her? And I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we found this cat, we named her Aria because it was the girl with no name when we took her to the vet. They ended up calling her Aria from Game of Thrones and I was like, oh my God, that's so perfect. So we named her Arya. So when I took her to the vet, they shaved her belly and they could not find a spaying scar, which means most likely she was pregnant, the vet said. And sure enough, she's pregnant. So fast forward to today, she is about 50 days and if you know anything about cats, which we just recently learned, they are only pregnant for two months which means she will be delivering in possibly 10 more days. I know nothing about kittens being delivered and now Dakota and I are watching lots of videos on how to deliver kittens, what to expect, what happens. So we decided to take my art room that's downstairs in my basement and clean all my art stuff out and turn it into a little cat birthing room. And we're gonna take you down there and show you what we did. Come on guys. So they're never allowed downstairs, but now they are, except Aria's over there. Aria! Seriously, what is she doing? She's just chilling. She is? Hmm. Aria! Come I'm on! It's getting close. Come on guys, wanna go down? Come on, Aria! She can hardly walk. Come on, let's go! Let's go downstairs! Let's see the room! So we got this big tent that is for small pets, turned it into, we put carpets, fuzzy carpets in there. They said to put receiving blankets. We have actual receiving baby blankets. Um, I got her pink with little crowns on them because she's a little queen. And yep, and Ren wants to go in there. So everybody likes the playpen tent, except for Aria so far. <laughs> I haven't seen her go in there once. Maybe because they're the ones taking over it, I don't know. We have a heater so it gets nice and warm in here. Um, we have her litter box. We're gonna put some food and water here, alcohol pads, we have rubber gloves, syringes, not needles, but like the syringes in case we have to feed the little kittens formula or something, which I hope we don't. Uh, we even have puppy pads, so we're gonna lay the puppy pads down when she's in labor. And when we brought Aria home, Nola and Ren were a little weird at first, but as you see, they're all getting along, um, and she seems to get nicer and nicer. <laughs> the more pregnant she gets. So we are not sure of when she's gonna go into labor, so we're definitely playing this waiting game. And it's crazy because I've got things to do, Dakota's working, and we really are watching her to see if there's any changes. Um, we're hoping to catch her in labor on camera and catch her uh, having the babies. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Here's Aria. She, we think she's gone into labor. She stopped eating around midnight. She's been sleeping and restless, crying, um, being very vocal and going to her nesting spot. And being very clingy. Yeah, she's very clingy. Um, but she seems pretty happy, just restless, and we're just playing the waiting game. We don't know when it's gonna happen, but if she doesn't eat all day today, we think it might happen. Yeah, she's been very clingy, purring. She's super affectionate, which I love. It was, she was affectionate already, but not this affectionate. <laughs> she's like, come on already. <laughs> so Jen and I have been taking turns. I took the night shift. She's down here in the morning, hanging out with Miss Aria. Her water broke. Her water just broke. She had a couple contractions. It she's was vocal. Very vocal. The box was outside of the pen. 
her nesting area so we had to lift her up in it and put it in her little nesting area so she is safe in here. Here we go. She had one kitten so far. You can kind of see the little brown spot down there is her. You can see her moving. I guess we're on a roll now, so one down and four, four five, five, or six, or six, to, six go. to go. Her second one pretty quick, so we have an orange one, a black one, uh, two down, maybe three, four, five, six to go. I have no clue. Okay, guys, Arya is doing such a good job. She's had four? Four. Four, and we don't know. She could be done. Drink some water, baby. She had so much liquid, though. Oh yeah, you're doing so good, baby girl. That's such a pretty picture. Oh, she's such a good mommy, licking all her babies clean, and we're just waiting. Where are the babies? to your sister. Say hi, congratulations. You had babies. Okay guys, they're about three weeks old. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And we're training them and We're gonna start potty. potty training them. That's where you pee. They've been starting to have accidents. That's where you pee. This they're is where like you it. pee. Come here mama, I'm teaching them how to pee. Hopefully she doesn't use it. Hi, 
babies. Smile for the camera. Jeez. Hmm. They're trying to jump out like their mother. They're very fast learners, I'll tell you that. What are they doing, Arya? They're going crazy. I don't know if they're crying because they have to go to the bathroom or they want her. You want mommy? Mommy's here. <laughs> she definitely wants them to sit down. Yeah, she wants them to settle down. You want them to relax? Are they too being too playful for you? Oh, I know. <laughs> they're so crazy. They're so crazy now, right? They're just crazy kitties. Yeah, this is what you created. Don't you do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 The kittens now are about six weeks. We have a couple more days to go and they'll be six weeks old. And they are seeing daylight for the first time because the basement has no windows. We decided to build a pen and bring them upstairs so they can get used to daylight, which it seems like they're fine and playing as usual. They're just a little bit weirded out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're terrified. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a toy. It's okay, it's baby. Toy. It's okay. It's probably a little much since they're in a different area. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You want to go in there? You want to try it? Look. They get scared to go to bed. Hi. That one's gonna go. Yep. Pee looks like. What do you see, Nola? Hey boy. Good girl. What do you see, Ren? What do you see, bud? Yeah. Sure, look. You see how baby? Oh, see, he hisses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They have no go. idea what to do with them. Go, go, I'm gonna shut the door. Hey, Marin, go. Come on, go. Oh man, it's a cat party. Damn. Look at all of them. We have a farm. I didn't know anything about pregnant cats at all, and she sort of did because she grew up. How many cats did your grandmother have? Oh my gosh. Well, she has a lot more now than she did then. Um, but she has like, what, 30 cats now? I, she took me over to her grandmother's farm and I was like, oh my God, there are so many cats here. And they were beautiful. They're all outdoor, indoor. But it was really neat to see like all those cats. And I was like, I want a cat farm. <laughs> and now I kind of have yeah, one. Now now I have like a cat cafe house we, we have going on there. We should charge and let people come in. Yeah make them coffee, Yeah. let them pet the cats. So these kittens now are almost eight weeks old. Ooh, this one, this is Willow, <laughs> and Willow is a little fireball, wow. fireball. Wow. <laughs> and Nola was batting at her, and they're meeting really for the first time, like in the last couple of days here, and she has no fear, so she's like all over the place with the big cats. Okay, so we had four kittens, actually we didn't. Aria, our new cat, which this is Aria. Hopefully she behaves. This is Aria. This is the mom. She did such a good job, right? This is Percy. Percy. This is uh, the one that looks most like her. So there were three boys, all mm -hmm. orange, and one black one. That's a girl. This is Percy. Percy is going to be Kennedy's cat. So she chose Percy. Percy's a sweetheart. So our four names that we have for the kittens is Willow, Finn, like Finnegan, but we call him Finn. Murphy and Percy. Yeah. And Murphy is going to Claudia and Percy is going to Kennedy. So we're keeping Finn and Willow. <laughs> I'm still trying to get it situated in my head. It's been a lot and it's been a crazy two months. Murphy, say hi. Say hi, hi. <laughs> hi everybody. We started to watch a lot of videos on cats uh, birthing their babies and, and and let me just tell you I, I don't know about you but I got so scared because so many things can happen yes they're in the wild and yes they have babies and yes they do it on their own blah 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 heard that so many times placentas can get stuck babies can get stuck you have to cut the umbilical cord I mean uh, <laughs> just anything stress can happen to the cat like anything can happen and if it's in the middle of the night <laughs> emergency I mean number one it's gonna cost a trillion dollars Number two, 
it's really hard to get care like good care in the middle of the night like that so you're just like terrible so my anxiety was sky high and then um and you were pretty calm but yeah i, I already knew there was no way i could handle that like i can handle i'm really good with like taking care of them afterwards and sticking with the routine even though i'm exhausted i can do all that stuff but when it came down to the actual birth like you knew this though that each cat had its own placenta yeah okay so i did not know that <laughs> i didn't know that each kitten had its own placenta um i just knew nothing about it so that was an interesting thing a piece of information to learn <laughs> and that the cats the mama cats eat each placenta which i did not know and that was weird it's like they eat it like a piece of steak it was a lot taking care of all of this. I mean, we had to find balance between me going to work and you being home all the time. Yeah. You know, what, I get up at like 6 a.m. so I can take care of them, and then I take a shower and I'm out by 8. Um, yeah, it was a lot. So then I would have them in the morning, and then I would have them for lunch, and then I would have, not for lunch, I didn't eat them. <laughs> I, I would give them their lunch, because they eat three times a day. And then um, she gets them, she would do the dinner. But yeah, it is definitely more helpful because I'm not a morning person, so getting that extra half an hour, 45 minutes of sleep really makes a difference for me. Every time you get used to one step, oh, it yeah. changes <laughs> because like they change so quickly. Yep. It's going to be hard to see them go, but they are going to Claudia and Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how much jumped on the trash can <laughs> on top. And um, they'll still be in the family. So in the beginning, we were going to give two of them away you know to a friend of mine and then as we started gr like growing with them and knowing who they were and, and loving them it was really hard it's still hard to give them away even to my daughters but i'm happy that they're going to my daughters uh you could have told me no it didn't matter i'd walked home with aria <laughs> i'd called an uber and then she had all these babies no you can't keep those cats oh no, no. i don't want any kittens what if you said that yeah, what if, i'd be like <laughs> get out of my house <laughs> i'm an animal lover i would never do that no she, we have tons of cat hair in this house so we decided to get two dyson vacuum cleaners Ooh. to help us but not only do we have dysons we have handhelds in each room <laughs> <laughs> helps yeah, and an extra vacuum cleaner downstairs that we don't use, that we, if we needed it, we could use it. So, God, we have one, two, three. Each cat has its own vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and also, having hardwood floors. Oh, yeah. No carpet. Yeah, I took that into consideration because I've had cats all my life, and I know how they can destroy things, too. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah. We all say, thank you. Thank Please you. subscribe. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you.